Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And it is now a fresh week before the next horde. We have a full six days to get stuff done, and we're here this morning at Anderson Cement, which, um, <laughs> it seems like it had more cement the first time I came across this, but, um, you know, it's like when you're, um, when you're all grown up and you go back to the house you grew up in and you realize how friggin' small it was. Well, we're all grown up in this game now, and this is just not as much cement as I would have liked. We are quite strong now, so this shouldn't be too much of an ordeal, I would think. Maybe there's some birds here, but, um, I did hear a zombie wake up. There is a dog thing over there, so... Where is this zombie? Oh, there you are. The other thing we have to do today is go mining for titanium. And I was having a look at the map this morning and there are a couple good titanium nodes around. So we'll have to go check those out. Try to get some more titanium so that we can get this katana upgraded a little bit more. Also need to start getting the Golconda upgraded a little bit more and that's also gonna require titanium. So we'll see how much progress we can make on that today. Oh crap, what is this? Oh, it's a freaking horde right on the doorstep, great. Nope, 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 not on the cement, please. You motherfuckers. Here, run, get some space, and suck down a skull crusher. Oh, they're everywhere. They're all around us. Wow, that was quite a fight there. Oh, we got regular POI zombies now. Also, it, it sounds like there's a bird up in there somewhere. See if I can get eyes on him. Maybe I can jump on top of this. Here we go. Here, just let me in here. What's going on anyway? Ah, there we go. Take care of these last few zombies. Ow, you sons of bitches. Right, we got that loot bag there, but might as well wait until we get to the end. Eh, you know what? We're in the freaking temperate biome. We don't need a looting candy for all this. We'll just take what we can get. I feel like there's um not a high percentage of like ferals in the hordes now, in the wandering hordes. I don't know what um, influenced that to change so much, but they seem a little soft and easy. I might have to bump up the numbers on that. That's the great thing about Undead Legacy is you have full control over the size and frequency of wandering hordes. So maybe I'll crank it up to like, uh, you know, 50 zombies or something like that and see how that feels. Probably a good place for electrical parts. I'm seeing a lot of these, um, like, control panel things, but we're not really interested in that right now. Mostly just interested in getting to the main loot, if there is one, and then hopefully, uh, getting all that cement and getting out of here this morning. Oh, jeez, there's a feral right there. Yeah, not a very busy place here. Uh, I'm hoping that there is a main loot, then we can just get that and get out of here. What's over here? Okay, just wraps around. It's all interconnected. It's pretty cool. Imagining we're probably getting toward the end, though. Got another feral here. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, another one. Yikes. I heard that whoosh behind my head. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. He's right there. Okay, anything over here? Doesn't seem like it. Guess we're going up maybe two or three zombies per level, it seems like. Yeah, here we go. Any ferals here? Oh, that's BS right there. Adhesive, yeah, I picked up that adhesive out of the trash there. That's something we're gonna need a lot of. Oh, geez, item need repairs, great. Yeah, there's like a lot of zombies up here. This actually doesn't have very bad knockdown, does it? It's, it feels really good. All right, check the loot up. Well, might as well put the looting goggles on. It looked like a tier two, was it tier two? Yes. Okay, police baton for selling, 154 dukes. And we got a Fireman's Almanac here. Fireman Helmets. I guess I'll just take that. Whatever. And some more 9 mil. And I think that's it. Let's hit the ground level and get to... Oh, thank you, Mr. James. Appreciate that. Why don't we just top off with some fish tacos, get the right pair of glasses back on, and get the shovel out and get to work here. Aha, uh -huh, just gonna level up in four skill points. <laughs> you know, I have like a notebook of things that I try to remind myself to do during every episode, and every time on that list is spend your skill points. And for some reason, I still always forget to do it. So anyway, we got four. That's uh, probably left over from last night during the horde. 
And uh, what are we going to do here? Let me just take a look and then uh, we'll decide on what to do. Okay, so here's what I've decided. We're going to go... Let's see, two into Perception, one into Lucky Looter, and then one into Demolitions Expert to help a little bit with the explosives at Horde Knight. And that's it. All right, that was a healthy amount. What is that, like 800, 723? That's not too bad. We'll get that turned into mix in a little bit. But for now, let's uh, take a look at the map quickly. And I suppose we could probably just take this off of the thing now, as well as basically everything else that we've done recently. There, I got that all cleaned up. And now, let's see, there's a couple of spots that I've passed by before that I know have a lot of titanium. One of them is down here by the school. And probably that's the... The closest to us so let's head down here we'll hit that up I don't want to dig too too much or too deep because it could turn into like a bit of a screamer mess and we don't have a sword anymore oh see there's another good chunk way out there but uh there's another chunk right there so let's hit those up I'll meet you there oh my god Thomas I'm so sorry okay here we are right here and I brought some extra fuel a whole bunch of junk in the inventory right now and the Valkyrie drill with me so gas this baby up and we'll see actually I got some um, rock busters as well we'll see how much titanium we can get out of this probably a little bit of iron as well I would imagine All right, I got a fair amount of titanium out of there and I don't, this place is gonna get pretty hot if we keep mining here in terms of like generating heat for screamers and stuff like that. Plus it's, we're down into like mostly iron. So let's head over now to the the next one, which was right over there. See if we can have better luck over there. Oh, speaking of screamers, you son of a bitch, get out of here. Okay, she definitely screamed. There's a freaking rad Oh, pizza, come on, man. Oh, this thing just does not go fast enough in reverse. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, no thanks. Here we go. Okay, nice fresh mining site. Okay, that's it. Need repairs, and just for the sake of it, this is a... Oh, it's a steel pickaxe. I was thinking it might be a titanium pickaxe, but yeah, the steel pickaxe is still terrible. I wonder, though, if I see, I think that, see this bonus right here, plus 100% more damage to ore and asphalt. I would bet that the titanium pickaxe has a bonus for titanium ore, and then maybe that would be, uh, oh, we got a screamer coming. Ah, and I'm stuck down here. Okay, just get ready. She's coming. I can hear her. I don't know where she is. There she is. Ah! Got her. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't see any green glowies anywhere. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's uh, take a look at this. I'm not sure what percent damage we got uh, bonus versus trees with the steel axe, but uh, I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe certain tools have certain bonuses for certain types of blocks. So, I don't know, something to pay attention to, I guess. Right, so I think we're probably good on titanium for now. Let's head home, get all this stuff into the forge, and see what upgrades we can do after that. All right, good evening, everyone. The forges are rolling. We've got all kinds of uh, titanium ingots going, and then you can have whatever number that turns out to be, and that'll turn into plates, which should be enough for quite a few upgrades, although there was a screamer just down here a minute ago, and she screamed... She brought in a couple of friends, so I'm going to take right care of them, but we're going to get a different weapon to do it. I think we'll take... Oh, hopefully, like, opening these things is not going to trigger them onto me. That would be annoying. But there we go. We have so much 7.92 ammo. We got to find a way to start using that. But, okay. Um, whoops. And there we go. Oh, now she's screaming again. That's nice. Here, can you come on to ground level for me? There's her friends. Just get a cup like a pop shot into him and it turns on my super running capability oh boy she's screaming again yeah this is not what i really wanted to deal with today ah, another screamer over there take her out she's not dead another one oh she's getting chased from behind yep 
Just keep running. We'll draw him off to some other look. We'll draw him into the freaking mining pit over here. <laughs> Everybody, come in here. Yeah, this is just not the best weapon right now. It is not equipped to fight rads, really. This one here, not so bad though. All right, so I don't think everyone followed me over. We'll have to kind of crawl back and hunt them down. Whoa, look at them all. Good opportunity for a sniper rifle. Oh, they're, they can hear me so well. That's maybe not the best weapon to use. Why isn't there a silencer on this thing? Oh, come on. The point blank range shooting, yeah. Pain resistance is improving. Oh, okay. We'll ride the lumberjack. Ah! Oh no, I'm stunned. Ah! We're dying. Quickly. Hey, Keller. Yeah. Mr. James, get me a, hook me up with the bandage, man. And they're all dead. Well, at least we didn't break anything. That's a plus. Not sure if I ever killed that other screamer, though. So just kind of be weary of that. Although I think, isn't it in the screamer code that they can only scream and call in zombies twice? so that it, it can't get like two, two, two out of control. But, oh, there she is. But then I think um, screamer screams also generate heat, which can like put you into a, a screamer cycle. So yeah, you just want to avoid the screaming. I think we're good now though. Well, temporarily, because we got all the forges running and the cement mixer and probably other things as well that are generating heat up here. All right, let's check the status of that. Oh, this is not running in fact, but it needs to be running. We need to get that 765 concrete mix out of it. So in here, I crafted two augers and two generators so that we can get one ore extractor and one oil rig or oil, whatever it is. We're gonna need more oil for that. That's crafting and we just need steel and iron. So I think I'm just gonna kind of sit around here and like tend to forges and try to get all these plates done. And now we're out of coal powder. Yeah, so it's it's looking like uh, steel is gonna be a bit of an issue. Might have to wander out and get some more materials there. Oh, 99 plates. Are you, are you kidding me? I can make one more, can I? One and two, and that probably should do it here. We can grab up the augers and the generators. We can make the ore extractor. So craft that four and a half minutes. And then there's this other one, this oil extractor, nuts and bolts. Oh, great. Always with the nuts and bolts. Last time I did this, I made like 300 and that did me over for a good long while. So I'm just basically gonna do the same thing this time. All right, last couple nuts and bolts there. I just cured that infection that I had and ate some food and stuff. So, okay, oil extractor. Craft that, another four and a half minutes. So for the next 10 minutes, that stuff's gonna be rolling in. We're now completely out, basically out of iron. We're out of bolts. We're, <laughs> we're gonna be out of mechanical parts here pretty soon. Luckily, we still have some oil, my goodness. I was hoping to also get some stuff upgraded, like maybe the pistol and things like that, but uh, I don't feel like we're gonna have enough of like the, the accessory materials to get very far. So, okay, repair that. Repair, oh, steel, are you shitting me, man? Oh, okay. Oh, what an ordeal here. I guess for some people, this is like a really aggravating part of Undead Legacy, having to like, you know, you need this to get that, and there's so much like involved in it. But for me, this is like, I feel like this is the way that the game was originally intended, like back in the earlier alphas. Like in case you're a newer player, like I am, I started in Alpha 19, so by no means am I speaking from experience here, but from what I've done in research, um, of the, the history of Seven Days to Die, uh, it used to be a lot more like difficult to craft things. Oh, and the reason I can't craft any more steel is because I don't have any more of the, um, what's it called? Uh, coal powder. Okay, so turn that off. I think we're good now. I can get this up uh, repaired at least. Yes, the last of the steel there. So I just want to see if I can upgrade these. Can I upgrade that? I sure can using almost all of the handgun parts that I have, but it would be worth it. I think if I get it upgraded one more, no, no, I don't think I can. I was thinking it might give me another mod slot, but I have to get it to S class to get the extra mod slot because I'd like to put a mag extender on there. Maybe instead of that crippler, can I just do that? Just at least like get it out and ready. That's going to be plus 35% to the magazine, which would be cool. Oh, and also a uh, great suggestion. Someone in the comments let me know that this backpack here that we got a couple of episodes ago is better than the one I have despite being the same quality class. And so I neglected to check that. So one that we're wearing plus 60.6. New one plus 
nine or a 69.7 i'm sorry so yes put the new one on that gives us about a plus nine to our backpack space and we have to take mods off of things before we can upgrade them so go ahead and do that and we can put away that crippler mod and then we can see if we can get these upgraded just a little bit remember things have a percent chance to fail it's only a 30 percent chance to fail but still very much possible so we're rolling the dice here let's see what we get we got it on that run there. Now we have to collect handgun parts again to get up to S-Class. And how about now for the Titanium Katana? Let's see how far we can take this. And it's morning. Presumably, though, we can do a couple of levels on this if we get lucky here. So, going to E. Success. Going to D. Oh, unsuccessful. So, oh, all right. Well, we rolled the dice and we, we succeeded twice and we failed once. And that's okay with me. Get that loaded back up with the AP rounds. We're pretty good on ammo here. Everything else is pretty much repaired up. I don't need this sniper rifle with me for the day-to-day -day stuff. Just read that treasure map for Jennifer's treasure. Where is that going to send me? In the ocean again. God damn it. All right, the ore extractor is done. Just getting some extra bandages here. Don't quite need that many. Let's uh, let's go ahead and drop that down somewhere before we head out for the day. That way it can work on collecting. I think it takes a full day. Oh no, our well! The well was destroyed. Well, that's a bummer. That's okay. <laughs> that was kind of stupid of me to put it there. Uh, let's maybe put this stuff like much, much further away. I don't know if the this is, it's, it's one of those things where it, like it has to be on your chunk. But I don't, I don't think it would be, right? So let's just, um, let's just put it out here. I, I'm pretty sure you can pick these up, though, if you have to. Although, I'm not sure quite how heavy they are. That is pretty cool. All right, just checking here. I can take it back up, which is nice. It has a really cool sound. And yes, um, one hour. It takes one hour, so one full in-game day in order to mine. I think it's a random resource. I probably should have read the description on it. Here's the description. Slowly extracts random ore from deep within the soil. Has a small chance to extract titanium ore. And um, do I recall correctly someone saying in the comments that it was 100 ore? It could be. Yeah, we'll have to find out. All right, so I think we're basically ready today to head out to our Tier 5 quest, which is an apartment building. Oh my god, it's a horde! Let's fight! We got new weapons! Yay! All right, that's the first half. The other half are broken, so let's break them even more. Soften them up a little bit. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. The apartment. Let's see what this place is all about. Oh yes, that bus. I, I had harvested that bus at some point. Right, well there was a cop sleeping over there just a second ago. Is he still over here or is it just these guys? Oh, there he is. Nice, good kill there. Waking up a lot of zombies like somewhere. Oh, look at them. They're coming out of the freaking building. They think they can get to me here. But honestly, we could just do this. Ow! Who hit me? I got hit by someone and I... I Mr. James, was that you? Oh, no, it's that crawler there. <laughs> I see. Wow, this is a busy place. Oh, we've even got rads. Let him blow. Let him blow. We'll hide over here. There we go. Hello? I don't know why I woke so many people up. Whoa, go rad. Oh, God. Okay, it's raining. They're coming out of the, the, the window there. Yikes. Whoa, I got sniped. This spider just jumping back and forth and back and forth. Okay, they're still basically... Oh, look at the damage in here. Nice, I love it. Okay, we've got... um. They're breaking in through here. Let's just... Nope, nope, they did it themselves. We're good here. Oh, jeez, who was that? Oh, feral businessman. Yikes, man. This place is involved, isn't it? Here, just let them in. 
Sheesh. Okay. Take this guy out. Ow! Who is that? What is going on? I feel like I'm getting hit like through walls and stuff like that. What is going on here? Go go gadget arms on that guy? Is that what's going on? Or is there someone under the floor or what? Zombie stuck in a block? Oh my god. Is it this guy over here? You fucking crawler. Wow. What an asshole. Oh my god. Rad. Oh my. Do you see the compass? Oh my god. I just noticed that. That was crazy. Okay. She bled out. What is going on here? Just zombies everywhere. It, these, it's like a one giant trigger room, it feels like. Oh man, what is going on here? That place is all caged off. What is that? Can I sneak back there and grab that? That was, oh, a jackhammer schematic. Interesting, that was a hidden stash. Right, so let's, um, this feels like a freaking horde. I know it's not, because we just had one, but anyway. Yes, back to the ground level and see what the hell is going on down here. About a couple months ago, I did a live stream where I announced that I would be going full time on YouTube soon, this fall. And uh, that is still the plan. However, uh, when I gave notice at my job, they were they are a little bit desperate to keep me around. So they made me a really good offer that I could not refuse. And so I'm going to be staying on at my place of full-time employment for another six months. And uh, I'll be going to part time though, so two days a week which is awesome. It's uh, it's going to be a really good transition period for me, most likely. And so after six months after that, so in, in other words, around March or something like that, I'll be officially full time on YouTube. But for now, you know, I, I guess you could say I'm technically full time on YouTube and part time at my regular job. Where did you all come from? Whoa, geez, but I'm just, uh, you know, getting closer to my goal of doing this for a living. It still shocks me and I'm, I'm sure it's, um, a bit of a strange thought to a lot of you as well that uh, even a small, small channel like this one, very, very small. I mean, I'm, I'm very grateful for how big I am. Oh my God, for how big I am. But, uh, you know, comparatively speaking, this is a small channel, but believe it or not, the, the money that this channel makes for me, both by like donations and Patreon and ad revenue and, and everything all combined, merch sales, it's, it's a good living. It's honestly, it's almost a better living than my day job and which is just insane because I went to school for what I do for a living for seven years <laughs> and, in, and in a year and a half uh, on YouTube I've generated uh, I've made a channel that makes me just as much money basically so I'm super grateful for that I'm not trying to brag or anything I hope you guys understand I, you know, I'm just very grateful I want you all to know that this channel is successful and that you know that's that's you guys that made this possible basically so really appreciate that. The other piece of news that is kind of related is that um, when we do, oh my, when we do the server reset for the GNS multiplayer server, in case you don't know, I have a multiplayer server and that is run by Bad Player Gaming. And um, we're going to be doing a reset here this fall. I think we're going to push the reset until um, Undead Legacy 2.6 comes out, which is the next big update that Subquake has been kind of teasing. If you don't follow Subquake on Twitter, you definitely should because there are some awesome updates that are coming. I think there's like new enemies. There's like a scorpion, mutated scorpion thing, which just looks awesome. There are, um, is there a new vehicle? Yes, there's the new dirt bike that's coming. I think I've showed you guys the picture of that before. Uh, what else is there? Uh, there's some new workstations. He's kind of redoing the crafting thing a little bit. Uh, there's a new chemistry station specifically that I know about. And so, yeah, when I am officially kind of um, part-time at my regular job, and I'm more like full-time five days a week here at this job, I will be probably live streaming more. I don't want to commit to anything on live streaming because I personally, you know, being... Yeah, a self-described introvert, I guess I would describe myself as. Um, live streaming is a little bit of a, a to-do for me. <laughs> so uh, I'm not gonna commit to doing it weekly like I had previously because I know that I'll just, I'll fall short. I might burn out. So let's stay flexible and we'll just say that I'll be live streaming more often and I'll be live streaming on that, on the multiplayer server quite a bit because we're gonna be doing Undead Legacy with the new update and it's going to be really really fun and i i don't want to stop playing undead legacy once this series is over because the, the series is certainly winding down whoa hello now, i don't know how much further we're going to go it's it's remained a very popular series on the channel so uh, usually i i commit to like ending a series when it when it starts to drag the channel down but that is not the case here so far 
So we might go, I wanna basically like unlock everything, get everything done, get the base finalized and, and then fight like demolisher filled hordes. Once we can get to that point, that's basically like you're done with the game after that. Where are you all fucking coming from? Are you kidding me? He just woke up off the floor. I've already been through here. Why didn't you spawn in? Well, the compass is significantly less populated with red dots right now. So hopefully we're ready to go upstairs. Still zombies coming after me. Where are you? Hello. Oh, Thomas. All right, we've made a good ripe old mess in here. That's for sure. The good news is the bottom two floors appear to be all clear. Just trying to basically search everything. We're so hard up for like everything at this point. So might as well start collecting it again. Right, we're on to the third floor now of, what was it, maybe like five floors, I would say? Oh, geez, they're making messes here. Does that mean I've already cleared out this level as well? It does seem that way. Look, yeah, they've already carved through all this stuff. Yep, so the third floor is clear. Look, some zombie just dug right through the couch. <laughs> Looks like this place was basically just copy-paste, copy-paste, make it five floors. You know, these are the kind of boring POIs that you don't really like so much in the compo pack. Like there's a lot of skyscrapers, but it, it's for the most part, like someone made one floor and then just in the POI editor, like copy paste and then stacked it, you know, 10 high and boom, skyscraper. But yeah, the interesting stuff I do recall is on the rooftop. So let's head up and see if the next floor is clear as well. There is an airdrop coming in. Ah, uh, this floor is not clear and it's very highly populated with zombies. Here, while we're at it, take a skull crusher, take some water, and that should help us clear this floor out nice and quick. So far so good, I think we're just about there. Help these guys move this junk out of the way. Take your head off, open that, last one. And we're good. All right, same deal here, it would appear. Oh, here we go. Come on, Mr. James, watch my back. Another bandage real quick. What do we got in here? Really not much, up to 96 on the swords. You know, there was a comment, and I do agree with it, that uh, once we max out knives and swords, we should probably just start working on something different. We do have that titanium sledge we can start working on. And then we can just have a sword with us in case things get a little bit dicey and we need a better melee weapon. Ow! Oh, and the crawler leaves me a loot bag of all zombies. Okay, I think we're, uh, what are we on, the fourth or fifth floor right now? We're heading up yet again. This place is getting kind of boring. I definitely won't be doing this place again. Oh, and then this is the last floor before the rooftop, which is locked. Might need to just open that up. Of course, I woke up all the zombies that are up there. Okay. Fair enough. We'll just, um, oh, jeez. Oh, uh, shit. Let's, can we just bring them downstairs? Yeah, uh, all the way, perhaps? Got nice, better, wide open spaces down here to fight in. Oh boy, where'd you come from? Yes, this is the room right here. Let's get another skull crusher in. Coffee, that helps. Whoa, not that stamina is too much of an issue for me these days with maxed out sexy T-Rex. Ooh, the sword is breaking though. It is almost broken. Do I have any other sword melee weapons? I don't think so. Yeah, okay, these guys just get the guns. Okay, oh, they're coming in now. Look at the grenades. Okay, grenade over there in the corner for them. There we go. Oh, cop blew up. It's just all rads now. Yes, take them outside. Yes, okay. No, 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 don't jump up there. Ow. Just get a couple grenades down here for them. See if I can cluster them up a little bit. That kind of worked, didn't it? Just a mild infection going on. A slight abrasion. Oh boy, yikes. Okay, yes, getting very busy over here. Can I get another effective grenade or are we basically boned? Here, they can have that, can't they? Yep, they broke the vehicle. Luckily, they don't explode anymore. Whoa, ow, direct hit, running low on ammo. Whoa, ow, oh God, damn it. Ah, again. I'm bleeding. Oh shit. Quickly, bandage. Hide back here, painkiller. All right, I think we're good again. We are lacerated though, so take a sewing kit. 
All right, was that it for zombies? There is one more zombie on the compass, but I think they're way back upstairs. Okay, here's the rooftop. Check this out. Maybe there's some birds up here. There are indeed. Take those out real quick. And we got one more rad. A couple crawlers up here as well. Whoa, hello. One crawler. There we go. And that's not the main loot. I thought the main loot was up here. Did I miss something? Got a generator up here. Oh, here we go. Metal key rack. That... Is there a way down now somewhere? Or maybe that was, um, I don't know what that was. I guess we're searching garbage up here though. Oh, got a rad bow coming up here. Oh my God, he's fast. Easy, was that the last one? No, there's probably some more downstairs in the, the floor that we kind of skipped over. Okay, I went through most of the garbage up here. Nothing special, let's head back down here. Probably a couple more zombies, although yes, I'm getting the indicator, they're down there. Last room. That's probably the main loot room, actually, wherever all these zombies are. Everything down here appears to be clear. Same old boring stuff. Oh, finally, a freaking bookshelf. Auto shotgun schematic. I'll read that. Bows and crossbows, also read that. Aha, here we go. And that's the button right there. There are zombies in there, I think, though. No, it's not. It, that doesn't do anything, in fact. So... Uh, I don't know. Is maybe there another way in here? Okay, I can't figure out how to get in there, so I'm just gonna make a way in there. Oh, I see some bikers. Ooh, I see some loot too. Nice. And some dogs. Oh my. Yes, many of them. I suppose this is a good situation to just do the like blow them all up with a couple grenades trick that I'd like to do once in a while here. Make sure you got plenty. Probably takes uh, two grenades or so to kill a <laughs> biker. And one for the middle. I don't know if that's gonna work. Oh, it, it killed some of them, that's for sure. All right, just rinse the rest of them. In fact, they're all going to the door, so let's get one more grenade over there for them. Eat that! All right, we're good. Look at the bikers. What? That's crazy. And uh, yes, the quest is over. Yes, we finally completed a quest without being dumb about it. And that's only a tier four loot chest. I'm disappointed by that. I suppose we will have to take the jailbreaker candy for this. So we'll suck that in and get the lucky goggles on. Okay, we're in. And uh, sniper rifle books of money and a steel combat knife. <laughs> That's it for this whole place? My goodness, that was not worth it at all. This place, uh... Well, that was a hidden stash there, so that's not too bad. A little bit of ammo. Not gonna lie, this place, uh, sucked. Unfortunate. Give me this leather, though. Right, well, it is what it is. It's all done and over with now, so let's get the fuck out of here. So we're just rolling back through here, and this is one of my working vending machines. However, always full of zombies. So what I can do, interestingly, is just sneak over here, and they never they never hear me going in here to get my skull crushers and <laughs> jailbreakers and things like that. But I figure, while we're here, might as well have some fun with them, right? How about that? I love it. Also, we can uh, take this now that we have the acid book and get our free acid out of it. Is that it for here? Yep, we're good. Let's go to the trader. All right, good evening, everyone. How you doing, Ellen? She's got a rocket launcher for me. I already have one, a triple mod. I already have that as well, and that is only an H class. So I guess I'm taking the recog today. Give me that. New jobs, what do you got? She's got the tier five where we took the loot out of the Very bottom nice. and otherwise basically just stuff that we've already done. Let's check her inventory. I think, uh, has she restocked? Uh, what Understood. day is it today? Day 50, yeah, I do believe she has restocked. So this should be all new stuff. Night Stalker book here. Ooh, 10% more sneak damage at night. We'll definitely take that. A bar brawling book here. Not as important in my opinion. So motorcycle repair kit. Don't think I need that. Although it would be nice to get like the regular motorcycle just because it handles so much better than the, the Renegade that we have. 
Uh, spikes trap, I can make those. It's more convenient to buy them, honestly. But yeah, I think we're all set here for today. Let's head back home. All right, we're back home, and I'm finally curious enough to find out what's in that damn loot bag over there. So <laughs> let's get ready. Maximum speed and launch. Nice. All right, we made it. All right. <laughs> Red tea. Are you kidding me? Uh oh. No, 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 no. Come back here. Come back here. Get in the Dune Runner. We're going to be hurting here. We're running out of air. Oh, shit. Come on. We're almost free. Ah. All right. With that, we are all done for the day. Okay. I got everything put away. And in here is the ore extractor. Oil extractor, I should say. So let's hop down on ground level. So we'll run over here to where the ore extractor is. And we'll lay this down right close by. I don't think this is at too much risk way out here. And hopefully it has fairly good hit points anyway yep that'll do i think Ooh, oh fancy i like that very cool so this will just be working on passive resources for us out here i would imagine if you made a, a good investment and made like you know five of each of these you wouldn't have to do any mining after that we'll have to consider that we'll see what the return is on them and see kind of if that feels like it's going to be worth it we have eight minutes left on that before it's done so we'll probably just wait until morning to check on it all right, well, so for the rest of the night, I'm going to make some preparations. Now, let's look at the map, because on this map, you don't see very much snow. They're just in the mountains, but there is a dedicated snow biome way, way up in the northeast that I do know about. That is a confirmed location. I've discussed it with the Order of Steel, and so I think it's time for an expedition. We have a couple of days free before we need to come back here and prepare for the Horde, so I'm thinking that we make a nice long trip out there to the snow biome, to see if we can get some good loot before the next horde. So I'm going to spend the remainder of the night uh, harvesting corn, I guess. <laughs> and then probably should plant some pumpkins, actually. Can I just get these up and get some pumpkin seeds? Yes, I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to make uh, more grenades, more bullets, and uh, we'll get everything that we'll need together for the big adventure tomorrow. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Get some pumpkins planted, get some stuff repaired, pack up some tasty snacks. Definitely gonna get some grenades crafted. Get my nice winter jacket on. It's gonna be cold where we're going. Perfect. Pack, 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 good. Grab up all the sellables and just repair everything that I can. And with that, we are ready to roll out of here. Hey everyone, my name is Temreki, and I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, and most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see here. I hope this video has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.